Well, g'day Curd Nerds. Today we're going to be doing an update for the Kefletiri. As you saw in the making video, the Kefletiri is a Greek cheese that is used in Saganaki. So it's a, used with a thermophilic starter culture to make the cheese. So it's a higher temperature cheese. Anyway, it's been going for a few months now. So I just want to check to see how much mold growth there is. I've been turning it weekly, once a week. Um, I've started to notice a little bit of mold growing on top of it. Anyway, let's get in closer and have a look at this. So as you can see here, the um, cheese has got a little bit of mould on it. There's a little bit of whey in the basket. We'll get rid of that in a sec. But yeah, I just want to get that mould off. So I've got a cheesecloth somewhere. Here it is. And I'm just going to use a simple brine solution, just get that off. First of all, take it off the uh, thing. Yeah, there's a bit of mould on there. That's not as good as I'd like it to be and that's about a week's growth so just wipe that off see how easily it comes off because this is a, a harder cheese uh, you won't have too many more troubles with it just wipe all that off Now I could err on the side of caution and uh, basically vacuum pack this now because it's fairly hard. I don't think there'd be any issues with it, so I might do that. I'd rather have it mould free than get infected. But I will squirt it down with some vinegar in a second. Just rinse that cloth off, just so I can get the rest of this blue off. But so far so good, it's looking quite good. The rinds, the rind has stayed intact, so the rind's not splitting, any of that. So we'll get a bit of vinegar now. So the vinegar is going to dampen down the, uh, the mold growth and also it will, um, it's going to help develop the rind a little bit thicker. Anyway, so nice and clean, ready to go back in the box. Not quite ready because the box lid is filthy, I mean the tray is filthy, so we'll just clean that off. Don't want this harboring all the bacteria. So I'll give this a good spray with vinegar as well. And we'll pop 
pop this in. That's the bottom, right. All good. A little bit of paper towel just to clean the lid. And there we go, back in the ripening box. So that was a nice quick clean up of the Keflateri. Uh, it's gonna continue to age until it's ready. I'm not sure when it is ready, but uh, I'll put the date down here in the video somewhere. And I hope you like that little simple update. Don't forget with this cheese, you've got to use vinegar to get rid of it because it's really prone to, uh, to growing mold on the outside of it. And you want a nice clean rind uh, for Keflateri. So you can use it for frying and uh, making saganaki later on, later on. So if you want to find the kit on how to make this, pop over to littlegreenworkshops.com.au. Uh, here's the making video, check that out over here, of how to make Keflateri. And the show is also run by patrons. If you want to pledge your support on a monthly basis, then please do so using the link below. Thanks for watching Curd Nerds, and I'll see you next time.